we, the city, the mayor, myself, we don't feel comfortable um, continuing in, in in the current way um, at this point any longer. Acting DPW Director Matthew Garbark showing support for Mayor Jack Young's decision to lay off 63 DPW workers. They cited their inability to provide accurate and timely meter readings, meter maintenance, and field work documentation. Instead, the city will outsource this work through energy and water resource management company, ITRON. The issues just have not gone away. The issues are have remained and it's become so significant that we had to make a change. The union that represents the employees expressed outrage in a statement writing, quote, our members provide a vital service to the city and we are blindsided by this decision. Ultimately, the decision invites more questions than it does provide answers. And there wasn't a whole lot going on during that period of time. These issues have been around since the new systems went into place uh, four years ago. And over that four years, the acting DPW director says the work continued to be faulty despite training. By bringing on ITRON, he says water bills will be more accurate and disputes over high bills solved quickly. Water bills are going to be at more accurate and that when there are issues or, or disputes that they're going to be resolved quicker because these folks are going to get out immediately. They are trained, they are experts on this, and they're going to find the problem so that it can be resolved and that the customer can get a resolution uh, in a quicker time frame. The union begs to differ, saying, quote, to hear the mayor today suggest that privatizing a public service will result in accurate and timely water bills is a shocking claim. And the union says it will also be filing a Public Information Act request to get a better understanding, they say, as to how this move will save the city money. The mayor and DPW say that it will save the city about $50 million over a five-year period. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News.